Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Random Sparkle. If you guys are clicking onto one of my videos for the first time and today I'm going to be going over something that is definitely different and I really want this video to be as direct as possible. So I bought my house when I was 21 with basically no down payment. Um, this video is not sponsored. This is not a video I'm recording to get money. I get no benefit from recording this for you guys. I really just want to share this information with you because it's kind of hard to get a hold of this information and it's so, so good for young determined people. There is a way to own a house without saving up tens of thousands of dollars and yeah. That's how I did it. That's why I want to share it with you guys. My mom actually connected me to this website and to this information. So I'm so, so grateful to her. Thank you, mom, if you're watching this video. Um, so yeah, I have her to pretty much thank for owning my house right now. Like I said, I did come across this information when I was around 20 years old, ended up buying my house when I was 21. So this program is legit. I'm just so, so grateful for this program. So if you guys are already subscribed to my channel, please click on that subscribe button down there. It means the world to me to have your guys' support. And yeah, let's just get right into it. So like I said, I came across this information from pretty much my mom. She told me about it and I didn't realize, like when she told me that the government has down payment assistant programs for low income people, I was like, what? They do? So I started doing more research and I found the website that kind of connects you to all these different programs. So this website is www.wshct.org slash homebuyers, blah, 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 blah. I'll put it over here. I'll definitely put a link for it in the description box down below. But when you go to this website, they have all the different down payment assistant programs listed. So there are different programs for different people. If you are in the military, there's a special program for you. If you have people who um, are disabled or family members in your household that are disabled, there's a special program that you can get. Um, or if you're just someone like me who is just low income person, they have programs for you. I'm not sure if this is in every state or if it's just in Washington state, but I would definitely look into it because this is an amazing program. But like I said, all of these programs are down payment assistant, meaning that if you wanna buy a house, you get anywhere from like $10,000 for your down payment all the way up to like $30,000 if you're disabled or in the military. So like I said, it just depends. They do have um, income limits so you can't make over seventy thousand dollars a year in some programs the program that we were in you couldn't make over like sixty thousand dollars a year so each program is different the program that we ended up going with was the home advantage program so if you want to be in one of these down payment assistant programs the first thing that you need to do is go to this website so once you're on this website you can read about the different programs that they have Think about it, think about which one would fit you best, and then go ahead and click on it. Once you click on it, you'll have even more details about it, and it'll tell you the steps that you need to take to be eligible to be in that program. So almost every single program, including the one that I was in, the regulation is that you have to take a commission sponsored home buyers education course. So these home buyers education courses are free. They're five hours long and they're usually located in like your local community center or you know in a local building somewhere. And a lot of these um, classes, they have free daycares there or free um, childcare watchers that will watch your kids while you're in this class. I have a three-year-old, we're very uncomfortable with randoms watching our daughter. We expressed this to my mom, we were really strapped on money and she's like, it's fine, I'll get you the classes. So she actually ended up buying me the online classes for $50. If you don't have the time, if you can't make it out to the five hour long class, I would totally recommend taking the online classes. You can do it at your own pace, it's only $50 and yeah, I was able to do it with my daughter sitting right next to me. So like I said, it's really flexible, it's amazing. Definitely look into that. If you can't make it to the classes, do online. So as soon as you finish the class, regardless if you go in to the actual physical class or if you take the one online, at the end you get a certificate. So since I took the online one when I was done, I had a certificate that they sent me in an email and I was able to print it out. And as soon as you have your certificate, you can look on that same website, I'll put another picture over here, and look up the certified lenders. So there are a whole bunch of lenders. Some of these lenders are from different banks, some of them are from different mortgage offices, but all of these lenders are linked up with these state programs, and as soon as you have that certificate, 
they can give you that $10,000 and set you up with a loan to buy a house. So that's what we did. As soon as I have my certificate, I was able to get in contact with a loan officer. The loan officer that I actually contacted is still on the website. Her name was Karen or Co Karen Cohen or something like that. She was awesome to work with. And you basically will end up emailing them or faxing them your certificate or you can take it into them and meet up with them, whatever works best for you. What I ended up doing is I think emailing it to her what they'll do is they'll get all of your information from you and they'll run your credit. Your credit and your income is what shows them the eligibility for the program. If you're going to apply with a person, so if you and your boyfriend or you and your best friend want to buy a house together, both of you have to have a certificate. Both of you guys have to go through the home buyer's education course. So that was what we didn't realize. I was the only one that took the course. So we had to go back through, make sure he had the certificate and come back to Karen and be like, hey, we both have our certificates now. And then she was able to put us both in the program and see what we were both eligible for. And then the other thing that I wanna let you guys know, they're gonna run your credit with whoever you're applying with. So if your credit isn't the best, but you're applying with someone who has flawless credit, you could still be eligible because their credit actually bumped yours up if that makes sense. So the other thing with this program is like I said, you just can't make too much money. So if you make over like $150,000 a year, you probably aren't gonna be eligible for the program because it's a low income program. We were eligible for $10,000 down to put on our house, which was funded from the government. And then we were also eligible for $215,000 mortgage loan. After she set us up with our financial situation, how much we were eligible for, she recommended us to a realtor. And then they kind of just guide you through that whole process of looking for a house, buying a house. And then that lender is the same one who will do your closing paperwork. So after you take the home buyer's education course, you'll kind of know what I'm talking about because there is a lot that goes into buying a house, which is also really cool because I feel like if you're gonna buy a house you should know that information when I was buying a house, it was really really competitive but there was people coming in with like a hundred thousand dollars more than us and just blowing us out of the waters so then we had to keep looking and find a different house that was in our price range because there are people who come with thousands and thousands of dollars ready to just give cash and things like that that was the biggest thing was just kind of being in the house game and finding a house before someone else found it and bought it before us if that makes sense so really the whole process of taking the classes and getting in contact with people and getting set up with our loan it really wasn't that difficult I feel like they should advertise this more it's like my little sister is almost 18 and this information is so useful Lena if you're listening you need to do this because owning a house and having your own space and having something that you can pass on and invest in is so so important i hope this information was helpful said i will put all of the links for all of this information down below um this is specifically for washington state but if you guys do live in a different state i encourage you to look into down payment assistant programs a good place to start is literally just type in down payment assistance in Washington State or in Illinois or in Ohio. So wherever you live, just type in down payment assistance and then your state and you'll have different information come up. Just do your research because there are resources out there. I just want to let you know that the house that we were renting beforehand was a three bedroom, one bathroom house. We were paying $1,600 a month for it. And now we live in a three bedroom, two bath house, um, and we pay $1,190 some dollars. So you can see there's a huge, huge difference. Honestly, I had been renting and being in the renting game since the time I was 16 to the time I was 20 years old and found this program. And I really hope that people jump on this opportunity. I don't know how long it's gonna last, and that's another reason why I wanted to put out this video for you guys, is because I don't know how long they keep these programs around, if they just keep them around until the funds are gone or, or whatever. I don't know how they work, but I'm so grateful for the program. So let me know what you guys thought of this information in the comment section down below. If you have any questions about my mortgage or about the program or anything like that, you can always feel free to ask me, like I said, in the comment section down below. And and we'll see you in my next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.